Hey guys, it's MJ the Student's Actuary, and yes, that's Tinkerbell, and that is the Loch Ness Monster. You might recall from one of my earlier videos that I was going through a website when I came across an article titled Tinkerbell, Loch Ness, and Inflation Link Bonds, and I said I would make a YouTube video on it. Now, if you were expecting to see Tinkerbell or the Loch Ness Monster, unfortunately, you've fallen prey to clickbait. Yep, I know. Don't worry, so have I. The, I read through the article, there was nothing on Tinkerbell or the Loch Ness Monster. It was all about inflation-linked bonds. Now, I know these things are known to be boring. You know, here's some boring facts that you can read about them. Yeah, okay, cool, let's, let's skip all of that. But what the, the guy wanted to talk about were these myths around the inflation-linked bonds. And the two myths were that one, they're too expensive, and two, they are illiquid. And I kept thinking to myself, are they too expensive? Are they too liquid? You know, I did some thinking around it. But the person who wrote this article is Sean Levitin. And we know he's very, very, very smart because he went to the University of the Witwatersrand and he studied actuarial science. So very, very smart guy. And in the article, I want to just highlight the one piece of information that he says here. He says, some people have naively commented that the asset class is expensive at these levels. Expensive? Expensive relative to what? You can see he's quite passionate about it. He even puts the word naively in bold. So who are these some people that he's talking about? Well, I started reading another article around inflation-linked bonds. You can see this one is titled, How Low Can They Go? And right at the end, um, I've, I've zoomed up what he said there. And, he's, and this is an investment company saying, we think that the current rate of around 2% is too low, which is why we currently hold very little. So this is the person who Sean thinks is being naive. But who is this person? This person is Rene Prinsloo. I, th I hope I'm pronouncing his surname correctly. But you should remember him because, ta-da, he's one of the guys who have written the actuarial note for the fellowship in finance. And we came across his LinkedIn profile in my other video when we were stalking my examiners on LinkedIn. But let's go back to his article and see what is the reason or what is the reason why he thinks inflation linked bonds are so expensive. And one of the things he says there is that historically inflation linked bonds were trading at a 7% real yield, whereas now they're around this 2 to 3%. But he has said that the market has become much more liquid, which is, you know, making up for that, the one myth that Sean was talking about. But to go from 7% all the way down to 2%, was that 5% all the way down to just the liquidity premium? Or has the market had this realization that inflation-linked bonds are actually amazing because they are almost the perfect asset for liability-driven investment strategies. Now, if you don't know what that, that is, it's because you haven't been studying actuarial science for long enough. This is like the new cool thing on the block. Before it was strategic asset allocation, now everyone's talking about liability-driven investment strategies. But what was interesting is Rene did write this article back in 2011, okay? And, and that's the thing, is finance changes, things change. So, I don't think we can call him naive still to this day. Maybe back in 2011, things were a little bit different. And also, the inflation-linked bonds were around 2%. He says around 2%. We don't know anything more than that. And Sean, in his article, talks about them being at 3%. And his article was written at 2015. Now, South Africa has had a lot of crazy, crazy going on in its bond market with being downgraded and all that. Yet... I went and I saw the latest inflation-linked government bond auction results, which were done just last week, and we can see that the clearing yield is at 2.35%. So it still remained incredibly low. And the reason for this is that this is, this is essentially a risk-free asset. There's no risk at all. Even from currency, like let's say the South African Rand drops, then inflation will go up and this thing will, will rise as well. So it is one of the closest things that you'll ever get to a risk-free rate of return. But what should this risk-free rate of return be? Sean's saying 2%, 3%, that's brilliant. And Renee is saying 2%, oh my gosh, that's way too low. The thing is, every country has a different answer. I went onto Sean's Twitter profile 
And we can see, look at what his latest tweet is. The real yield of a 10-year UK inflation-linked government bond is now minus 2%. So in the UK, the real, the real return is negative. And so South Africa at positive, that's why he's saying it's, such a, it's actually a good thing. Which now comes down to this whole, this is why we have markets, is because Rene is basically, well, 2011 rate was, Rene was basically saying sell, whereas 2015 Sean was saying buy. Now, what I have done, you might see on my channel, is I've just released a video where I'm talking about this defined contribution retirement fund investment strategies at appropriate default. I know it's a very long title and the video, I think it's, it's like 53 minutes. So it's very, very long. But what I do is I go through the entire paper presented by the Sean guy and he talks about how good these inflation linked bonds are. So if you do want an in-depth look at actuarial science and what the whole philosophy is, go and check out that much longer video. But interestingly enough, you should see that he co-authored it with a person called R.C. Merton. Now, if that name sounds familiar to you, it's because R.C. Merton has his own Wikipedia page because he won the Nobel Prize. So he's also smart, almost as smart as somebody who went to WITS because he's got a Nobel Prize. So definitely make sure you check out that video if you have the time. I know 53 minutes is a long, long time. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cheers.